because guys, th th this piece of legislation is so powerful for us because everything in this system is data and information, okay? We're passing our data and information whenever we do pr pretty much anything in the system. Certainly if we're buying something, you've all done this stuff yourself. We're passing on data and information. Hey guys, it's Gavin here from, and um, I wanted to show you a win today, a really um, simple win. And I wanted to show you how simple this can actually be against any debt collection agent. You don't have to go to court. Um, the weapon that you wield in this situation is what's called a data subject access request. And it uses the Data Protection Act 2018 and um, GDPR principles. Now, once again, is all online. I will do a video about the uh, Data Protection Act, just digging in because guys, th this piece of legislation is so powerful for us because everything in this system is data and information, okay? We're passing our data and information whenever we do pr pretty much anything in the system. Certainly if we're buying something, you've all done this stuff yourself. We're passing on data and information. That is owned by us which is why I have all these different data protection laws. And most people don't understand um, just how many people don't really even comply with the data protection laws. But the fact is, that's your data. You own that, okay? And so we can leverage that fact. And if you go through um, the other videos on this channel, I talk about the three weak points. their are Achilles heel and the reason why um, we owe them nothing and they have no legal uh, position with a valid claim to get anything from us. And in this video, I'm going to just show you how simple that can be. Um, and I'll, I'll be honest, I actually forgot all about this one. I was dealing with them last year. Um, it might even have been two years ago, nearly two years ago. They disappeared after I submitted my DSA. A um, little bit of back and forth and they just disappeared. And all of a sudden, um, earlier this week, um, the general manager sent me a little note. And on this video, that's what I want to go through. Everything that happened thereafter was just an email exchange and it simply ended with them saying we're going to be passing this back to our client. So that's a debt collection agent that had been harassing me, telling me I owed all this money, legal action, blah, 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 only had a DSA and a notice of non-compliance to that DSA. And then a few a few years later, I'll get the dates in a second when we'll see that, um, they, they came back again, probably just trying their luck, intimidation tactics, didn't work, gone. OK, and that's what I'm going to walk you through. So this is the first piece of correspondence I had with these guys in well over a year. Um, and you can see who they are. I've got no worries with uh, showing you who they are. You might even be dealing with these people. And if you are, as a side note, um, there is a link in the description of this video. Book a call with me and um, I'll basically walk you through how to deal with them. Um, it's very easy. Now, um, as I say, this letter turned up out of nowhere on, on the 30th and um, you can, can see the amount owed. <clears throat> and let's just kind of get through this. So they're obviously working on behalf of their client, right? Uh, <clears throat> and um, uh, let's see what we're saying. We're at the stage now where we've, re we've reviewed your case and are now in the process of instruction uh, as the next course of action. So a little bit more intimidation here. Um, most people, and I was one of these individuals would have looked at that and you know, that, that, that fear of dread and emotion and, and stress starts to kicking when you start reading this sort of stuff. Oh, not another one. You know, what am I going to do? You're not in any debt, guys. Nonetheless, our, clients is my, our client is mindful of the obligation on parties under the civil procedure rules to try and remove, resolve their res disputes and of the potential benefits to our client in terms of cost and time. So again, they're just alluding that, you know, legal action is on the horizon. And again, no one, anyone that doesn't really know what civil procedure rules are, um, and I'll go through these. You may see in the background, um, I have these big green books towards over my um, left shoulder. They're the civil procedure rules. Um, I know them inside out these days, specifically to what we're talking about here. But again, when you don't know, this starts to be intimidating, right? And oh, look, isn't this good of them? They're prepared to make a gesture of goodwill and discounted the alleged debt, right? How many people would have jumped at this and actually paid them something and by the way guys if you are already paying any of these dcas anything again book a call let me know we can get all of that back okay they have no legal claim to your cash 
which means we can prove that, which means they have to pay you back. And if you want to, it can go even further because you, you know, potentially causing, committing an offence. Okay, so our client considers this to be a generous offer. Oh, thank you so much. But if you do not accept it by making payment, we intend in due course to bring the contents of this letter to the attention of the court to issue costs. So again, it's all about intimidation, right? It's all about getting you to pay up the money that you don't owe. So let's look at the interaction on email. Okay, this is what I did once I received that. So this was my response. Sorry, it's a little bit skew with here. My response to their letter. And you can just see here, very simple, straight to the point, okay? Because I already knew that I'd served the DSO and notice of non-compliance. Hadn't ever dealt with this person before. Please find response to um, your letter dated 30th of March. Um, and copies of the DSAR, I made a little mistake there, um, but these things don't matter, you'll see. Um, copies of DSAR and notice of non-compliance previously served. And um, we look forward to your full and substantive response. So I don't need to elaborate any more than what I've already said in the DSAR, okay? So the, the trick here, it's kind of like, you know, we're in control. We're not intimidated by these people. We know our position um, and we know we hold the power here. We're not going to be intimidated by a bully. This is what came back with. Um, sorry, it's all a bit skew again. So... Again, <clears throat> please find the attached responses that were issued to you regarding your previous correspondence. So he attached just a load of stuff, which I'd already confirmed was not compliant to the DSAR. All of these debt collection agents will try and bamboozle you with stuff or just overwhelm you with a lot of different information, which every single time is irrelevant because they never can comply to the points we are um, laying in the DSAR. Um, and which they have to if this goes to a court of law. Okay, so he's just literally repeated himself. And again, we write to inform you that in the event no payment is received, um, we may issue legal proceedings, blah, 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 enforcement, you know, all these words sent to intimidate us. If legal proceedings are commenced, blah, 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 blah. Again, it's all BS. Don't fall for the, 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 the bullying tactics. And I went back with this. Um, let me just kind of get this through. So thank you for your email. Again, this is all directly to the point. As I pointed out last time, at the time of receipt, the response was not and remains non-compliant. So we're just reiterating what we already know to be true if this was to go into a court of law. So we are not lying, misleading or anything. Given you are now implicated in the matter, so we can both play those little tactics of intimidation. Probably ignored it, but it doesn't matter. I've had experience where this is not ignored and they take that actually a little bit more seriously. They have implicated themselves purely because they've contacted me directly. We wish to confirm your response to our DSA was not and remains non-compliant. Given there is ample case law to, the, to support your requirement to provide our data information. Now I've, I've just added that because it used to be um, I didn't know about the case law, I've since learnt the case law and it kind of just shuts them up because they also know about the case law, right? So I'm really just reiterating information that they should already know and if they don't, well they get a rude awakening, okay? Um, and the other part of the Data Protection Act, um, it is an offence to conceal our data and you would do well to comprehend the, com comprehend the matter at hand. So the simple fact here is they've been served the DSAR, they didn't respond, they were served the notice of non-compliance, they responded with a load of stuff that again was not compliant. So in a court of law, they are withholding our data and information. It is concealment, it is an offence. Okay, they know this stuff, guys. They know this stuff, which is very rarely why, you know, most of the time we got as far as court, court and a claim, um, you put your defense in knowing what you need to know, and this is the stuff I can help you with. They don't even bother going forward at, from there on. And you just, that, that order then, that, that whole claim is essentially stayed, and then you need to apply and have the whole thing basically. Well, what, what, what I do is you, you have it set aside and you do a counterclaim for like seven and a half to 10,000 pounds win every time okay anyway if you believe you have a, a have a valid right of claim please make your application at law we'll do it there we look forward to your response so again there's no embellishment there's no threats it's very much to the point stating what we already know to be true and their response was basically this um very short and to the point um <laughs> they're referring it back to their client right and then the final little threat threat again which will be dealt with by their litigation office which hasn't been the case which is why the alleged debt was passed over to a debt collection agent and the long story short here is they haven't succeeded and so this is all possible simply because of the original data subject access request all of it under the data protection act 2018 so if you've never heard of that 
go learn it, go read it, okay? I will do a video covering all of that, but guys, this is it. This is like, this is their Achilles heel. None of them can comply with this data subject access request. None of them can actually prove you are owing them anything, okay? And this is why you win every single time. And then if you, as I say, if you want to counterclaim, they have to pay you for non-compliance of the DSAR, or they've committed an offense, right? It's all really straightforward stuff under that act. Now, again, if you're not dealing with the DSAR, you can actually still do this direct with whoever that alleged lender was. Again, you're not in debt, so please check out the other videos where I literally draw back the curtain and explain why. Check out the one I've done on trust because that is essentially the truth. We create the currency. And it's all of these facts, guys. I'm hoping you're starting to um, be less skeptical now. All of these facts that I'm sharing with you that enable us to do what we need to do under the Data Protection Act, using the Data Protection Act. It's the simple fact that everything is a trust and we create that trust that we can do exactly this. Really simple stuff when you know it. So if you are struggling with any of these parasites, and I call them parasites because they are, I'm not, I haven't got anything against the people that work in these companies. Nine times out of 10, they're absolutely ignorant. I find the further up you go, the food chain, they know what they're doing and they know what they're doing is wrong. So I have no sympathy for these people. So if you're in a similar situation, you're struggling with these people, even if you've made payments, book a call with me. Um, I'd get, up, get to understand your whole situation. And then together, um, we can actually go and do something about it. Now, there is an equitable consideration for that because, you know, I can't do everything for free. Um, I've, I've got stuff to do and bills to pay myself. So I'll work with you hand in hand, going through every single step as I know to do it. I'll even do your email responses, everything required to get the win. Okay, I just want to spread the word and help people get out of that horrible situation that you know what it's like when you're in it, right? Because we are not in debt. And when you're free of that, it's a completely liberating um, feeling and um, life just changes okay and by the way if you're worried about your credit score well, you're probably already getting a few knocks on that anyway if you're with the dcas but again there's no debt what they've done they cannot do so we can write the credit scores too all right see you on the next one thank you